Hey friend, my name is Kelsey. Thank you for joining me today to practice yoga. Yoga is a time where we practice showing up. So steer fingers because you showed up for yourself and each other today. Showing up contributes to our integrity. And integrity is what you do when nobody is watching. Your level of integrity will define you. So always follow the next four rules to show your friends, teachers, and parents how much they can trust you to be a person of integrity. The first rule is keep your listening ears on. Place index fingers behind your ears, eyes on me, and listen for directions. Rule number two is to be a stand for each other. I hope to hear that you are all being leaders during our classes by showing integrity. Rule number three is to keep your whole body on your yoga mat or in your yoga at all times. The floor, the rest of the floor is hot lava during yoga, and your mat or your yoga bubble is like a slippery rock. So because it uh, can be a slippery space, keep your shoes on or take your shoes and socks off and then practice in bare feet. No socks for this practice, please. Rule number four is that when animal sounds are allowed, we will make only one sound one time and we'll put it all together. So, are you ready to begin? We're going to start with a grounding meditation. And first, I will give instructions. Then, I'll ask if you're ready. And when I say these words, all together, begin, we will start at the same time. So first, we put our listening ears on and listen for instructions. The way this meditation is going to work, listen first and then we'll do it together. Find a comfortable seat with your sit bones grounded, and your hands on your knees or at your sides. I'm still giving instructions right now. First, I'll hold up one hand and you'll breathe in. Then I'll drop that hand and you'll breathe out. I'll hold up the other hand and you'll breathe in. I'll drop that hand and you'll breathe out. Then I'll hold up both hands and you'll take your biggest breath. And we will exhale to the count of 10 as I lower my hands. So find that comfortable seat, ground your sit bones, sit up tall, and relax your shoulders. All together, begin. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, biggest breath, and breathe out to the count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. All right. So while we practice today, your muscles might burn and that's okay. If you feel any other pain or if what we just did feels really good to you, you can sit right here very still like we just did, 
and keep breathing. I invite you all to stand up right now. And we're going to find our true north. So true north is a really strong, centered alignment that we find in our mountain pose. This is your empowered mountain pose. And we're going to start building that mountain pose with our feet. So, listening ears on, listening for instructions first. When I say again, we're all going to stop four times. Are you ready? All together, begin. One, two, three. Now, plant your feet and visualize your roots growing down into the earth. And when I say begin, you may repeat after me the following statement. I will have a good day no matter what comes my way. All right, are you ready? All together, begin. I will have a good day no matter what comes my way. Now take your hands to your hips. You can stay very still right here, or you can take your hips in a circle and practice going with the flow. You can take your hips the other way, reverse the circle, still going with the flow, and then come back to neutral. And when I say begin, repeat, you may repeat after me. I will go with the flow today. Are you ready? All together, begin. I will go with the flow today. Remember those listening ears. Now bring your hands to heart center. And rock them together really fast. Build some heat. Can you feel that energy in your palms? We're creating an inner fire. And then put that fire in your heart and feel the heart. Feel the warmth of your heart. The energy. When I say again, you may repeat after me. I will use the power of kind words today. Are you ready? All together, begin. I will use the power of kind words today. Now reach up to the sky and take a big breath. Look up. Breathe out, let that breath go, and bring your hands to your heart center. When I say again, you may repeat after me. I will take a big breath when I get upset. Are you ready? All together, begin. I will take a big breath when I get upset. Good job. All right, to get us excited for yoga today, we are going to jump all together at the same time and whisper something that brings us joy. So listen and pay attention right now, listening ears, to jump for joy with your friends. Are you ready? We're going to jump one time and whisper something that brings you joy. All together, jump! Yay! All right, you want to do one more? Find your north first. Ground your feet. Bring your hands to heart center. Are you ready? All together, jump! Awesome! Come back to true north. We're going to practice being strong and unshakable like warriors today. To become strong, grounded warriors, step your feet out wider than the hips. Bend into your front knee. So keep your knee over your ankle and your feet flat on the mat. Flat, strong, grounded feet. Maybe step your feet out a little bit wider on the 
Now we're in your yoga bubble wherever your space is today. And turn to face in front of your mat. Reach up. This is our first warrior pose. Make sure your missing ears are on. You have the option here to lift your heel. Find your second warrior pose by taking your arms out wide. Reach to the front and reach to the back. And then reach your front hand up to the sky like you're holding a flag or a flower. And become a peaceful warrior. Then Turn back to face the front of your mat, lift your heel, and fly to airplane. Press the top of your head forward and press your heel straight back. Really ground down, root down through that standing leg, and spread your arms like the wings that they are. And then come slowly back to your Good job. Now we're going to do that on the other side. So take your feet out wide again. This time turn and face the other direction. Find your first warrior pose by reaching both arms up to the sky and face this side of your mat. And then open up, find your second warrior pose, reaching your arms out wide. And then take a big breath as you lift your flag to the sky like a peaceful warrior. And then turn back, facing the front knee, and fly to airplane. Ground down through your standing leg again. Really push down to lift up. Lift your heart, take a big breath, and then come back to your mountain pose, hands at heart center. Let's do that again. Step your feet out, wider than your hips. Bend into the other knee. Face this side of the mat and find your first warrior pose. Take a big breath here. Open up. To your second warrior pose, reach out, really root down, make strong legs here to be strong and unshakable. Reach your front arm up to the sky like you're holding a flag or a flower, and then turn to face this side of your mat and fly to airplane pose. Root down, lift up. Take a big breath here, and then find that pose. What we do on one side, we always have to do on the other to create balance. So step your feet back out wide, turn to face the other knee, lift your arms to the sky, find your first warrior pose. Open up to your second strong warrior pose. Hug in from the skin to the muscle to the bone. And then reach up to the sky. Peaceful warrior. And then turn to face the front of me. And fly the airplane pose. Root down and lift up. Take a big breath in. Breathe it out and find your mountain pose. Step your feet back out, wider than your hips. Really press down through all four corners of your feet. I challenge you to make this next flow as smooth as you can. So a little trick to keeping your balance in some of these balancing poses 
is to fix your eyes on one single point and keep them there, and that will help your body stay still. So take a big breath in, put your listening ears on, and turn to face one of your knees, bending into it, and reaching your arms up, find your first warrior pose. Then open up, slow and steady to your second warrior pose. Breathe in as you reach up like a peaceful warrior lifting the flag. And then turn, root down, fix your gaze and slowly fly to airplane. You can do it. And if you fall, it's okay. We're going to fall. It's part of the learning process. Just get right back up. We're just practicing here today. I mountain pose, hands at heart center, and then keep moving, step back out. We're going to do it on the other side. Last time, this is your last warrior. So reach your arms up, open up, peaceful warrior, smooth and steady, turn and fly airplane. Really press down strong through the standing leg. You got this. Nobody's watching. It's just you and you can do it. Come back to mountain pose. And then spirit fingers for giving your best effort and find a seat on the mat. It's time for a gratitude break because gratitude is really and truly a superpower to create happiness. Bring your hands to heart center and if you would like, you can close your eyes. If you would rather rest your hands on your knees, that's okay. Just close your eyes and think about one thing that you are grateful for. This might be uh, favorite food, favorite place, or pet, or friend. Whatever you are grateful for, imagine putting it in a safe place in your heart. And then open your eyes, put your listening ears on, ready for directions, eyes up here. We're going to practice two yoga poses called cat pose and cow pose. So watch first, and then we'll do it all together. When we're ready, you will find cat and cow pose by stacking your shoulders over your hands and your hips over your knees. For cow pose, you'll press your heart forward. For cat pose, pull your belly into your spine, round your back, and let your head drop down to the mat. Breathe in when you go to cow pose and breathe out as you move through cat pose. Okay, everybody find this tabletop position. We'll give you just a moment. Find a tabletop. And then when you're all ready, is everybody ready? All together, we're going to do this five times. Five cow poses and five cat poses. Begin. Breathe in for cow pose. 
Breathe out. Your cat pose. Breathe in. Look up. Press your heart forward. Breathe out. Round your spine. Press down through your palms. Breathe in. Spread your shoulders wide. Breathe out. Hug your arms in towards each other. Cow pose. Cat pose. We're going to do one more, and this time you can make one animal sound with each pose. Ready? All, all together, begin. Cow pose. Moo. Cat pose. Meow. Come back to tabletop. And then find your seat position. And close your eyes. Together, we're going to say, that was good. Ready? All together, begin. That was fun. Open your eyes. Everybody stand up and face a direction that allows you for your arms to reach out wide. It's really important to keep listening ears on. Place your feet as wide as your elbows, kind of like we did before, wider than your hips. We're going to play a game called Tick Tock Clock. Isn't it awesome how we can still play games together even though we're not in the same room? So I want you to imagine that you're standing inside a person-sized clock. All together, let's take our arms to 12 o'clock. Find 1 o'clock. Now find 2 o'clock. Keep facing me. Find 3 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Show me 5 o'clock. Straight down for six o'clock. Both hands to seven o'clock. Eight o'clock. Here's nine o'clock, straight out to the side. Ten o'clock. Eleven o'clock. And twelve o'clock. Again, a little bit faster this time. Do it with me. All together, begin. One o'clock. Two o'clock, three, four, five, six, keep your feet grounded, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Now take your hands to three and nine. It's time for a yoga pose. So with your hands at three and nine, take a big breath in, and then point your right toes towards your right hand, and keep your body straight. We're going to find triangle pose. So press your left hip towards your left foot. Keep the arms straight, keep your body straight, and make a triangle. This is called triangle pose because we're making a triangle with our legs and a triangle with our right arm, our body, and our right leg. Reach your left arm to the sky and look up to your left thumb. Give yourself a thumbs up, which is doing a great job. And then rise back up. Point your left toes 
to your left hand and find triangle pose on the other side. You can do it. Really use the power of your feet here. Grounded feet, strong legs. Push your right hip towards your right foot and reach your right arm to the sky. Look up. Give yourself a thumbs up. Take a big breath. And then rise back up. Bring both hands to 12 o'clock. All together, we're going to go all the way around the clock face again. Ready? Begin. 1 o'clock. 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock. 4 o'clock. 5 o'clock. 6 o'clock. 7. 8. 9. 10, 11, 12. Now give yourself a hug and say, good effort. Everybody, find a seat on your mat. And lay down. You can lay on your belly or you can lay on your back. But close your eyes. And make your body still. We're going to get all the last wheels out by going to our happy place. So, with your eyes closed, imagine and think about a place where you are totally happy and calm. Breathe easy here. And if you still feel energy and feel like you want to move, wiggle your right fingers, just the right fingers. And then gently set your right fingers on the ground and let them be still. If you need to, you can wiggle your left finger, just the left fingers. And then gently place them on the ground and let them be still. If your feet still want to move, you can wiggle your right toes, just the toes of your right foot. And then gently place them on the ground and let your feet be still. If you still have a little bit of energy left, wiggle your left toes. Take a big breath. Let it go and let your left toes gently fall to the ground and be still. Think about that happy place and think about being there right now. And then sit back up, listening ears on. I invite you to bring your hands to your heart center. Thank you for practicing yoga with me today and showing up. Now, go have a good day no matter what comes to you.